And we are back, and you can see our guests, Alicia and Gary, there. And uh, we're going to just get some updates about the annual grandparents' pilgrimage and families' pilgrimage because you guys were here about start two years ago, right? Was it about two years That's ago? Right. That's right. Yeah. Welcome back. So this Thank is, you. and I have, you know, I have the, the poster here that you brought. You guys brought a bunch of stuff. But this is the third annual pilgrimage. How did it all get started? Well, this got started, as, as you would say, three years ago because it is the third annual pilgrimage. And it's a way, it was started as a way of doing something special for grandparents. Mm -hmm. Uh, and to recognizing their vocation in life, which basically is passing on their faith to the younger children and, and family members and so on and so forth. It is a day set aside for celebrating National Grandparents Day, which is the first Sunday after Labor Day every year. And so uh, we were just basically trying to follow the lead of the founder of the Catholic Grandparents Association, Catherine Wiley, who started her association in 2002. So that all is part of what we got started. Also, it is, uh, it, it's a day for mixing and mingling with other grandparents, mm -hmm. meeting old friends, meeting new friends, learning new ways to possibly become a better grandparent. You know, and and finally, it's a it's a it's a prayerful day uh, where you can sit back or stand up, whichever the case may be, and enjoy the beautiful grounds of the divine a shrine of divine mercy in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. Beautiful place. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, I love my grandparents so much, mm -hmm. and I can't imagine uh, a, a time like this. I mean, particularly in this moment, knowing that the parents' first number one responsibility is to pass on the faith. Mm -hmm. A time when parents need grandparents more to help them in that critical uh, ministry, if you will. Correct. And, so, and so, uh, what kind of things can people expect if they go to the day? Well, if you look at our, our flyer, it says, yes. come to me for hope and blessings. And we chose that theme because as a prayer group, uh, we meet every month as a prayer group uh, in Westfield at St. Peter's Church. And we usually pray between, for between two and 300 grandchildren every time that we oh. meet. And so we're always hoping for the best for them. And we're always wanting God's blessings for them. Sure. So we said, well, what better way to say it than come to me for hope and blessings at the Shrine of Divine Mercy, where Jesus says, Jesus, I, tr you know, I trust in you. Sure. Yeah. I, I help me with my family. So many grandparents are worried with their families. Mm -hmm. A lot of children are bringing their grandchildren to church because of sporting events, sporting practices. Right. Uh, they're getting away they're very secular. And so as a result of that, grandparents, you know, come to the prayer group and they can talk to each other and pray with each other so that we really get a, a, a very nice com camaraderie. And then afterwards, we'll go out to lunch and, and talk to each other that way, too. But grandparents can't talk to their children about the problems they think they're having with their grandchildren, but they can talk to each other. So it's a great way of doing Makes sense, that. Yeah. Well, I have to echo what Father Reed said. And my parents are watching this now who are grandparents, and they know how special <laughs> their parents were to me, my grandparents, so I, I, I'm a big fan of grandparents. What is the role, because I'm thinking of mine in particular, um, of grandparents and the faith, passing on that faith, because I know in my life they were extremely important in that role. Mm -hmm. It's true. Whenever I have my grandchildren over, we always say grace before meals. Yeah. I take them to church if they're over for the weekend. We read stories at bedtime, and it's always stories from the scriptures, and they love reading them. I have six grandsons, and so they love the stories of Daniel and the, you know, the lion's den and David and Goliath and all of these stories that uh, they're not getting all the time at home. So that grandparents also show by their example how they are so faithful going to church every Sunday. Little things like that and saying grace. Very important to do these things. The children notice and they say thank you for it. Mm -hmm. And the day is intended for grandparents, but, but for families, as you've indicated. That's right. Absolutely. It's September 13th, which I think is a great time. Uh, be it late summer, mm -hmm. uh, it's after school has started, and the Divine Mercy website has all kinds of details about yes, this. Yes, right they now. have this poster, and then you can also call them, or you can call me. My name is there at the bottom of the flyer, so you can call me if you need any other directions. But we start at 11 with a great welcoming ceremony and refreshments. We have raffles, we have speakers. Father Gramlich is going to, wants to talk and have grandparents talk to him about what they're feeling. Uh, we have a great caregiver coming up from Florida, Jane 
Sweeney, who took care of her husband for 10 years, having dementia and Alzheimer's. Ooh, yeah. And she's written a beautiful book called Caregiver, My Love Story for Her Sweetheart, mm -hmm. and how she was able to keep him home so much longer. And so many grandparents are suffering with from these things, or families are dealing with these issues. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to keep them. Then we go into prayer time with the Eucharistic Adoration, confessions. You can walk the grounds. We have Holy Mass, where we can all join together. I mean, community <coughs> prayer is so important. Intercessory prayer is just so powerful with God. It'd be great if people could get that poster up in their parishes too, yes. right? You can, you can download that? Yes, you can download that, great. yes. And I'm also sending things out to the different dioceses, so maybe they'll get that also to the parishes in their diocese. So uh, we hope everyone will come and we can have a great day. I'm going to keep well, reminding people. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, you know, once again, I'm a huge grandparent fan because it, they have such a special role in their children's life and their grandchildren's life mm -hmm. and a role for all of us. Mm -hmm. So we yes. appreciate you taking the time. They are our foundation. They are absolutely our foundation. Without a doubt. Mm -hmm.